Welcome to Agape House of Worship's Potter's House Kids, where we bring the Bible to life. Are you ready for today's adventure? Come on, let's join in. Hi friends, I'm so glad you are here with us today. I'm Mr. B. Hey, you're Mr. B? Yes, I'm Mr. But B. I'm Mr. B too. Oh, I'm Mr. B by your... Oh, I'm Mr. B by me, G. Well, hey, Mr. B, before we go to today's lesson, I have a question for you. Okay. Can you guess the number of grains of rice we have in this jar? Oh, wow. That's a difficult assignment. Definitely. But I think this should be about 2,000 or something. Um, maybe. Think. You could be right. Maybe 2,000, maybe 3,000. You know what? It's almost impossible to guess the number of grains we have here. And that reminds me of the blessings of God. They are so much that we cannot even count it all. Really? And that is what today's lesson is all about. Yay! The blessings of God. That's right. Today we are going to continue with Psalm 23. Yes. What we've been learning in the past couple of weeks. And today we are going to learn about how God's blessing overflows. Yeah, I don't know about you, Brabayo. Yes. I am ready. I don't know if you are ready. I'm ready. Okay. Kids, are you ready? Yay! Let's, Let's go. go. Um, we've been learning about, uh, about Psalm 23, a chapter in the Bible written by David as a song um, concerning how God is, is our shepherd. Yes. You know, kids, can you remind me what a shepherd does for the sheep? Hmm. The shepherd takes care of the sheep, yes. makes sure the sheep is well fed, mm -hmm. makes sure the sheep is protected, and God is like that to us. You know, God is our protector, He's our shepherd. So today we are going to be digging a little bit deeper into that. So we are going to be reading Psalm 23, verse 5. Okay, all right, guys, I'm going to read Psalm 23, verse 5, and it says, You prepare a table before me. In the presence of my enemies, you anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. My cup overflows. I'm going to do a simple demonstration, Rabbiyo. Okay. I want to do a simple demonstration of how the blessings of God overflows. And I want you to pay attention to me, kids. So, just look at this grain of rice. And these are the blessings of God. This is how God showers his blessings upon us. And it comes like this. The blessings comes. Wow. It comes. It comes. It comes. Can you see now? That is how the blessings of God keeps overflowing. That, those are. That's what the blessings of God are like. God keeps blessing us, blessing us, bless until our cup runs over. That's great. That's yeah. exciting. Wow. Ah, this is so much blessing. Now we are going to look at the scripture, um, the, the, a Bible story that I know you're going to like. Is is how God blesses a woman in the Bible by the name of Ruth. How the blessing keeps overflowing and keeps increasing, just exactly like what Mr. B, yeah, just Mr. Banji just demonstrated. Right. So are you ready, kids? Okay. All right, guys, story time. It's story time. We are going to take you back into the Bible. And uh, the story that we are going to tell you today is taken from the book of Ruth. Actually, we are going to do a summary of the book of book. And I want to encourage you and challenge you at the same time to please read the whole book of Ruth. But today, for this lesson, we are going to do a summary. So, in that book, there was farming in the land. Do you know what farming is? No. When we say there is farming, Brabayo, <laughs> there is no food, really? there is no water, there is no snacks, there is nothing oh. for wow. the people to eat. The <laughs> land was dry. Really? Wow. And at that point, and at that point, Ruth loses her father-in-law and her husband. Wow. And uh, Naomi decided to go back to Judah. But Ruth insisted that I will, f I, will f I will go with, with you. Naomi was trying to encourage Ruth not to go with her, but Ruth said, wherever you go, 
I wow. will go wow. wherever whatever you stay, I will stay, <laughs> and your people will be my people. And what she said one thing, and your God will be my God. Wow. And thank God Ruth did that because that was the beginning of the blessings of God in our life. Wow. So Brabayo, I, I, I thank God Ruth did follow that and uh, we need to be mindful of the people that we associate with. In the cause of in the cause of our moving with Naomi to Judah, that brings about the flowing in of the blessings of God. Yes, thank you, Mr. B. Yes. So the blessing kept flowing, but before that, uh, now the, Ruth did something. Yes. You know, herself and Naomi. You know, there was famine in the land, mm -hmm. but when they got to Judah, they wanted to. Naomi said, Ruth, can, can you get some food for me? So Ruth went out yes. to get food for Naomi mm -hmm. and herself. Yes. So in the process, she, she got to a land owned by a very, very kind and nice man called Boaz. So he got, she got food from that Boaz. She got favor of God, you know, because w w can you guess why he got the favor of God? Um, it's because of the blessing that was flowing. Yes. You know, so she got food from that land and she got another blessing. Can somebody guess what, the, what that blessing is? Um, God provided her a good man. man. She got married to Boaz, Boaz. the owner of that land. land. You know, wow, that's, a that's a double blessing. Yes, double blessing, blessing. you know. <laughs> so, so, do you know the next thing that happened? Mm. Is a triple blessing. Can you guess? Oh my god. She had a bouncing baby. baby boy. Is it a boy? Yeah, it's a bouncing <laughs> baby boy. Wow. So God blessed her with a nice man. man. Blessed her with a with a with a baby. baby. <laughs> so and that's how the blessing kept flowing. So now now give birth to that baby, beautiful baby for that matter. <laughs> You can imagine the blessings of God. Now, now I'm gave back to that baby, and it, 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 she named it Obed. So Obed grew up and got married and gave back to Jesse. 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 That's the blessing keeps continue. Jesse grew up at the same time and gave back to David. Do you remember David? Oh, that guy that wrote Psalm 23. David wrote the old book of Psalms, but mind you, we are we are we are treating Psalm 23. So that is the generation of David from Naomi, Naomi to Obed, Obed to Jesse, and Jesse to David. Is that not is that not a blessing? That's yes, that's it is. That, that's great. You see how the blessing of God keeps increasing and keeps increasing and keeps and, and keeps overflowing. overflowing. You remember the right demonstration on how things keep overflowing. Mm. So even Ruth started out. There is a very sad, sad story, yes. but because of God's blessings, because of Psalm 23, verse 5, mm. you know, the blessing keeps overflowing and overflowing. You know, I remember myself to how, you know, God has blessed me as well, mm. you know. Um, I know you are all students, you are all back in school, you know, that has God for wisdom. Because of the blessing of God, you know, that we enjoy. You know, I had the wisdom of God as well, which is a blessing to me and my family. I know you have the same story, right? Yeah, great. So. Great, Brabayo. Great. I can't even, talking about my, Brabayo was trying to tell us about the blessings of God to him. The blessings of God to me and my family is enormous. I can't even mention it at all. I would want to talk about uh, uh, safety, I want to talk about protection, I want to talk about the favor of God. So guys, Guys, at times it may seem they are not pronounced, the blessings of God. But trust me, there are a lot of blessings of God around you. It's only if, and if you can think about it, if you can imagine it, you will see that God is actually pouring down blessings upon us every day. On daily basis, we have blessings of God. That we can point to so i have a question for you yes, what if i don't feel blessed yes uh, well, well great question well Brabayo, because we find ourselves in a life that is so hard that is hard we find ourselves in a situation that life is full of ups and downs it is possible 
at some point in time to feel I'm not being blessed, to feel God is not is not answering my question. But I tell you, I'm tell you, I tell you, don't do make that mistake. God is always by your side. God is always answering your questions. If you are thinking about, oh, I don't have good clothes, I don't have new toys, I don't have cookies at home, my mom is not getting me this. Did you think about things that you are not asking for God and that God is supplying on daily basis? Mm. Did you think about your sleeping and waking up the following morning? Did you think about what you are saying out? Did you think about your intelligence to answer questions in class? Did you think about, did you think about the, the, the choice of Holy Spirit that is guiding you in making good choices in school? So it is a lot. So in the midst of everything that happens around you and in our daily activities, always imagine and imagine that God is always by your side. God is always pouring out blessing around you. Yes. Thank you for that. Now I know that even if I don't have new clothes yes. or cool toys, mm -hmm. toys, I, I know for me to sleep and wake up, the following morning. It's, it's the blessing, it's blessing. of God. Yes. And to have good people around me, yes. my dad, my mom, mm. my sister, people, good the, people around me, where to sleep and wake up. The church family the church also family is a blessing. Is a blessing, yeah. you know. I'm sure, kids, God has blessed you with one thing. Sure. You know? Can you tell me one thing that God has blessed you with? Oh. On the count of three. Good. One, one two, two, three. three. Grace. Favor. Mm -hmm. I don't think I heard Did you. you. I, I, don't I don't think, think so. I heard anything. Did you say anything? Did you say anything? Oh, can we go over it again? Okay, on the count of okay. three. One, one two, two, three. three. Mercy. Grace. Oh, what a good well, God yeah, we serve. Yeah. I think I had some, yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. With that being said, kids, so let's get to today's activity. Welcome back to today's activity. Today we are decorating a cup to remind us of the blessings of God. This cup is going to tell you that we have a God that always wants to bless us. Yeah. We have a God that always wants our cups to overflow. So, Brabi, yes. can you please take us through the items that we have for the activities? Sure, oh, sure. Let's go. So, before I start, you need ad adult supervision. Make sure your big sister, your dad, or your mom is around. So, for the activity, we need you need a cup. Okay. Scissors. Good. Um, a paper. Mm. And Glue mm -hmm. and some glitters. Some yeah, here. yeah, yeah, and some glitters. All right. Okay. So, for, so for your paper, you want to cut it. I see. Nice strip like this. Just take your time in cutting so in that cutting, you have a nice cut. And make sure you do this with adult supervision, okay? Good. Okay, okay. so for the bungee, please have that. So you have your paper, right? Mm -hmm. So I want you to do something for me. Can you write the blessing of God? Remember when you shouted that blessing? Can you write it on that paper that you just okay. did? I'm writing my own too. So I'm going to write mine. Are you writing yours? Yes, I'm going to write mine. Great, great. Okay. So. Wow. So you have that. <laughs> we both wrote favor. Wow. Can, let me see what you wrote. Mine is favor. Mine is favor too. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. So you put it. I'm gonna put it. Let me have one more. You can still think of something else. Something we else. have a lot, a lot. You can we have many blessings. You can think of something else. So the next stage is you're gonna use the glitters okay. to decorate it. To decorate it. Yes. So you want to put that, once you have it, make sure you wait a little bit so that it can dry up. So once it's dried, 
you now want to stick your the blessings you want to stick the blessings in the cups so once you have it you can just glue it just like this um, so you just glue it here mm -hmm. wisdom mm -hmm. yeah so we have wisdom we glue it this way yeah you should have something like this that you can use like a pencil holder can you see this has salvation, grace, different blessings of God. Can you see the way it's flowing out nicely? Um, so that's your craft right there. Mm. So you can give this as a gift to your dad, your mom, your friends, everybody to demonstrate God's blessings mm. and how it's overflowing. That's a great one, Rabbi. Yeah, this is great. Thanks so, so much. So you can have body. this, you can have this on your table, you can give it to, as a gift to someone. And one thing I want you to be mindful of is that as God is blessing us, as God is blessing you, you are meant to bless others. That is why, that is the essence of the overflowing. If God doesn't, if God does not want you to bless others, the, the blessings will remain in your cup. But because God wants it to spread out to people, God wants the blessing to spread out to your neighbors, to your friends. So that's why it's flowing out. So as it's flowing out, it is our duty to ensure that it gets to other people around us. Yes. And I pray that as you do so, the Lord will bless you and the Lord will give you grace to bless others. Amen. 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 If you did today's activity, make sure you take a picture of it and send it to us by email at children at agapehousenj.org. Good. Okay? Good. Thank you. We'll be waiting. That was a great activity. Yeah, well, yeah, I had so much fun. Same thing with me. And we are getting ready to close our lesson for today. But before we go, friends, I have one challenge for you. I want you to write out 10 blessings of God that you know of. I want you to write out neatly and post it somewhere in your living room, somewhere on your mirror, somewhere, anywhere that you can see it. Write it out and paste it somewhere there so that whenever you wake up in the morning, you see it. You know why? We find ourselves in a world that is full of ups and downs and challenges. So, and it is important we remind ourselves every day that we have God that blesses us. Don't you think so? Yeah, yeah, it's true. You know, if you don't write it down, the blessings of God, you could forget, especially when we are faced with challenges mm. and at times we are lonely, we are sad. We forget this thing. So it's good to write it down. Make sure you do the challenge. And it's been so much fun hanging out with you. We're about to wrap, round up. And... So I think I'm going to pray with you. And um, I bless, I'm, I'm trusting God that uh, the Lord will minister to you as we pray. If you are going through any challenge, if you are going through any difficulty, just open up your heart as we pray. Shall we pray? All eyes closed and S bow. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you for the grace to learn about your blessings today. Father, I pray for everybody that is watching that um, you give us that mind of understanding to see your blessings around us in the name of Jesus. Lord, as we go this week and the entire days of our lives, I pray that your blessings will be upon us and we continue to overflow in our lives in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty Father. Lord, we bless you and we worship you. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you, Mr. B. Thank you, Mr. B. It's it's such a lovely time that I've had today. Thank you so much. Same here. Yeah. And thank you, thank friends. Thank you, kids. Thank you, friends. See, See you, you next, next time. Week. Bye. So we have a special song for today. Are you ready, kids? Yeah. yeah.
love today's lesson? Wasn't it a great one? If you were blessed by today's lesson and our activity, let us know by writing a comment on our YouTube video or by sending us an email at children at agapehousenj.org. Again, that's children at agapehousenj.org. We can't wait to hear from you. In the meantime, we'll see you next time at Potter's House Kids.